Okay, welcome back to Simply Living It. Today I'm sharing with you a day in the life and this day in the life is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be vlogging a weekend day for you. I've shared a lot of homeschool day in the lives with you recently. I am a stay at home homeschool mom of three boys and today's video I just wanted to share kind of a glimpse into our life um, outside of homeschooling maybe. I just wanted to take a moment and kind of do something a little bit different here on my channel. I've been sharing a lot of homeschooling content with you guys, a lot of different um, days, kind of a glimpse into a day in our life. Really, when it comes to homeschooling and homemaking and all the things with our normal everyday life, so to speak. So today, I just wanted to take an opportunity and kind of share with you a little bit more about us as a family, what we like to do, what we do on the weekends. Um, that's the point of today's video. So come on an adventure with us today. It is a Saturday and we decided to come up to the cabin. We are actually out of firewood at home, totally out. And so we came up here where we keep everything stored. We're gonna just have some good quality family time out here in the middle of nowhere. So I just wanted to vlog some of this for you guys to let you see kind of a glimpse into our life from a different angle, right? Aside from everyday life, homeschooling, all of the stuff that I normally share with you. So I hope this video is something you enjoy. If you like seeing this vlog style content um, that's not necessarily homeschool specific, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. That is a way to give me feedback and let me know what you guys like to see here on my channel. I know this one is a little bit different. I love to share all things motherhood, homeschool, homemaking, lifestyle, you name it. That's what I like to share with you guys. And this is a very big part of our life. So I hope you enjoy this day in the life with me. I do want to mention this video is a collaboration with my friend Christy over at One Blessed Mess. Now there's a huge group of homeschool moms who are sharing a day in their life as homeschool moms. They are all in different seasons of life and different stages of life. Some have littles, some have older kids. So I'm sure there's going to be all forms of encouragement. And if you're needing to build a community of homeschool moms around you be sure and check out that playlist in the description box down below and i want to thank christy for hosting this collab for us i know my video is going to be a little bit different as we are not actually homeschooling today we are not doing anything homeschool related as far as books and curriculum go today you know the saying um not all classrooms have four walls that's what's going on around here today, right? It's a weekend. We're going to come enjoy the day as a family. I'm just going to kind of vlog a little bit of it for you and share a weekend day in the life. I hope you guys enjoy it. Brought some of my favorite books that I love to read while we're here in some of the downtime. I absolutely, there's so much peace, so much peace here when we are here. There are zero distractions and it's, it's absolutely wonderful. It's out in the middle of Here's my little Brantley. <laughs> so thankful for this space where we can come. We are totally off grid. Our power is all solar. So it's a whole different way, a whole different lifestyle. And it's great. Um, no running water, an outhouse for a bathroom, out in the cold, snow, frozen toilet seat, all of it. Like it's wonderful. It is so wonderful. It is so simple. And I love coming here to just reconnect, to find that peace, to feel that peace, to just connect with my family on a different level with no distractions. And I feel so much peace and just the presence of God so heavy when we're here. 
And I know he's with me always, always. But here in nature is just like I, we just connect so deep here in this place. And so I am so thankful and so grateful for this space. And I'm happy and excited to get to share it with you all. So thank you for joining me for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it makes you smile and um, let's see what the day has in store. That view right there is priceless. Absolutely priceless. It looks like there might be a little bit of a storm brewing off in the distance, so this could get interesting. I'm excited to have you guys along today for this special and very different day in the life of a homeschool mom of three. <laughs> there goes Cooper already. He's off. Boys waste absolutely no time. We have not even gotten everything unloaded yet. And they're like, okay, bye, see ya. In reality, it's okay. I would way rather have them being outside and exploring and living, right? And husband and I are going to unload the truck and bring the groceries in and get everything set up and get everything cozy and settled in for the night while the boys are riding snowmobiles all around us. Now it's Aiden's turn. Brantley's back there on his snowboard. <laughs> He is a pro with that. I'm excited to share some of our sledding with you guys too. Um, as long as the weather doesn't change, we plan on going out and doing a little old fashioned, old school sledding. Like snowmobile sledding, but the actual sled down the hill, carry your, you know, your sled all the way up the hill type of stuff. So, okay, Brantley wants to show us that he can jump his little snowboard. Show us, V. And you landed it, nice. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you did it on purpose? I'm standing out here wrapped up in my blanket and we just realized we left a huge bag of food at home and we are two and a half hours away from home. So we're missing a lot of food. <laughs> That's what happens when you have multiple people in charge, right? And uh, we don't store food here regularly. So we really are um, living on one package of elk burger and salad for the next day and a half. <laughs> Oops. Show me, B. So there are not enough snowmobiles for all of us to go out at the same time because the two older boys like to drive by themselves. So naturally, Mom's the one that's going to stay behind. I'm going to stay in the cabin and actually do some reading. I want to share with you guys the books that I'm reading here in just a second, but I'm going to do some reading while they are having some guy time, and then we're going to double up on the snowmobiles and go do some sledding together. So I'm going to share that with you guys here in a bit. We're going to soak up the sunshine while the sun is shining because, like I said, it looks like there is a snowstorm coming in. So anyway, again, I just wanted to share this video with you because I thought it was something different, something fun to share on my channel. I've shared a lot of different homeschool mom day in the lives here. So if you want to see school in action, like homeschooling content, stuff like that, then I'll link some of my videos down below in case you're interested in all things homeschool curriculum. If this is your first time to our channel, even there's all kinds of content that I share here at Simply Living It. Today's just one of those random, I want to do something different and thought today was the perfect opportunity to do so. So again, while the guys are out playing, doing boy stuff and mom's hanging out, getting warm, I'm going to do some reading. I'm going to share with you right now what I'm reading, and then we're going to go do some sledding together as a family. This is my book bag that comes with me to the cabin. This bag right here gets carried with me. And what I have inside of it, like, changes out with seasons. So I have books that I'm actually actively reading that are not in this specifically. But let me just share a couple books that I'm reading right now and totally loving. So this one right here, I am about three quarters of the way through. And you guys... This book is so, so stinking good. It is called Get Out of Your Head. And this book, I'm going to link it down below for you to check it out for yourself. But I have highlighted and dog-eared and folded so much stuff in this book. Because this girl, 
needs to get out of her head, for lack of a better word. Like, legit, my thoughts, the way I process things, everything. This book, I, I highly, highly, highly recommend if you need to get out of your head. Next thing I have is a journal. You guys know that I love to journal and write and just my thoughts, my prayers, anything and everything. So a blank journal. Then inside of here, I also have my Bible that has been very well loved. This was a gift to me um, from a very, very dear friend of mine. Um, one of the wisest women that I know gifted me her Bible that she had for years and years and years. And this is a treasure of mine. And right now I am reading, look all my pencils and pens as my bookmarks. I need to get bookmarks, guys. I'm currently reading through um, the book of Ezekiel. So that's where my pencil is at right now. Chapter four, that's where I left off last time I was going through that. Then I have the power of a praying mom. This is a simple little journal type thing that just, you can pick it up when you want to pick it up. Um, there are different prayers that you can pray over your children and then notes down below. Um, if you want to journal something, if you have a special prayer for one of your children or all of your children, this has been something fun that I've been enjoying as well. And very, very meaningful to me, something that I've been loving. This was also a gift to me, um, from a very dear friend of mine as a Christmas gift. And so this is something I've been enjoying. I'm just beginning this book. I'm at the very beginning and I don't do this one every day. Um, I wish that I did, but I don't, I just, when I see it, when something, you know, when we're dealing with something, when we're struggling with something, I'll open this up and then go back and say some of the prayers that I've said before. I will pray those again and then move on to a new prayer and a new section of something that we might be working through or dealing with. So I have been loving that inside here. I have my matchless Bible study. We are on another pin. Here's where all my pins go. We are on, um, week five. So we are going through um, just the miracles, the miracles that Jesus performed. That's what I'm working through. I have <laughs> Good Days Start With Gratitude, a very simple, simple gratitude journal. Starting every day with gratitude, with gratefulness. So you can start your day, you can end your day, in the middle of the day, whatever. Write down three things that you were thankful for in that day. And I promise you, this will change your outlook and your attitude on life. And that is not an understatement. When you can choose to focus on three simple things to be grateful for every single day, your mind will change. The way you see things will truly change. Then I have foundations. This is just a simple, a simple daily devotional is kind of how I like to use this one. This one has its own bookmark. So I am about halfway through this book as well. This is not something I do every day. I just kind of open my book bag and see, okay, what do I want to work on today? What do I want to read through today? And I'll do my Bible study if that's the first thing I'm doing, which is this one I shared, Matchless from um, Angie Smith. So that's one I'm working on regularly. And then these other books are just supplements that I have um, in addition, just daily devotionals. Um, stuff like that. And then the last one I have is The Power of a Praying Wife. This is one that I've been loving going through as well. You can tell I've got dog ears and notes and all kinds of stuff going on in here. Things that are under my notes. There you go. Things that are underlined um, that are very powerful and very meaningful to me. I am one that underlines and highlights and dog ears all things, including my Bible. I'm not afraid to mark all that stuff up. So anyway, so those are books that I brought with me this weekend that I'm actively working through as we speak. I don't typically pick one book and finish it all the way to the end. I will pick one. I'll read a few chapters, put it down, pick up another book, read a few, read a few chapters, put that one down, go back to another one. Um, I'm also reading Dream Big by Bob Goff. I have got The Life-Giving Parent that I've been working through. I've got The Call of the Wild and Free that I've been working through. I have so many books that I am currently reading and actively reading. It's actually kind of crazy that I can keep them like all in order, but this is just how I do it. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you start one book and finish it before you begin another one? Or do you have many books going all at once? Again, you'll find... All the books I enjoy reading are really seriously focused on biblical parenting, biblical womanhood, homeschooling, self-help stuff. Self-help, I guess, I don't know if that's the right word. The Get Out of Your Head book is one that very much talks about the power of your thoughts, and um, but, it, but it's biblical. And so 
it all brings it back to that biblical mindset in motherhood, in homeschooling, as a wife, all of the things. I'm going to give the boys just a few more minutes outside and then I'm going to go join them and we're going to go find some fun sledding hills and maybe adventure up the mountainside and see what we can find up there. Hey, you might want to get out of the road. You made it all the way. You are so crazy. <laughs> give us a thumbs up. <laughs> give me a thumbs up. You're crazy. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights We had the absolute best day exploring together as a family in pure sunshine, blue skies. It was absolutely perfect. Um, we went up the mountainside, did some exploring. We hung around the cabin and just played in the snow and um, just made some memories as a family. It was beautiful. Um, we also, when we were up the mountain, found an elk skeleton, like full-blown elk skeleton, which was pretty crazy. So um, I didn't get pictures of everything and I didn't film very good, but let's go into the evening and see what's going on back at the cabin. I can see you guys are awesome. That is an awesome igloo. Oh, That's perfect. You don't want to come eat? You guys, this is so cool. It's perfect because the top's broken. Look at it. Way. I love it. Are they? This is going to be pretty sweet, guys. Okay. You even made a little floor. Yeah. Oh, wait, did you drop them? Yeah, and I'm going to need some more. This is perfect. Are you guys going to come eat burgers? Okay. Our door will be right there, and then we still got a ways to go. We got like. Mom! What, B? I've only had one cute one. And then as we go, we just start um, curving them. I can't even see you guys. <laughs> you have four? Yeah, I got four cubes. This is so cool, guys. I love it. How are we going to do the roof? It eventually just starts curve like you curve them in and then it curves over. Perfect. You think we're going to call it a day? Thanks for joining me. We're going to go in and have some dinner and watch a movie and wake up to a new day. I know it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold So because we only came up for one night this time, it flew by so fast. Usually we spend the weekend here, but um, this weekend just didn't allow for that. So we got to spend one night as a family just exploring and doing life together and just making memories. It was beautiful. It was wonderful. It was so needed. Um, we usually try to get out of here early afternoon. So I am cleaning up the dishes and the inside of the cabin. Um, again, we don't have running water, so I have to boil water and do the dishes the old school way, but I actually kind of enjoy it. I try to save them up and just do the dishes once because who wants to hand wash dishes after every single meal? So I'm going to do all the dishes from our adventure this weekend um, at once and then get everything packed up and head back home. So Boys kind of gave up on their little igloo shelter thing that they were building last night. They worked really hard last night, as you saw, clear into the night. It was dark. They had their flashlights and their lantern, and they were still working away at it. But I think I'm going to go ahead and close out this day in the life 
that I have been filming for you. This is very different, like I said, than what I usually share here on my channel. I've got all kinds of homeschooling content videos linked down below in the description box in case you want to check some of those out where we're actually homeschooling live in action. So like I said, today's video is a little bit different, but I wanted to share a little bit more of our life with you all. So I hope you enjoyed it. This is a very different take on a homeschool day in the life, but this is our life through a different lens. And I wanted to share it with you all. So hit that red subscribe button. If you have not already give this video a thumbs up, introduce yourself in the comment section down below. If you are new here to my channel, thank you again, Christy, for hosting this collab for all of us homeschool moms. I will see you in our next video. Bye. Oh, I just feel so lucky